Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Check this out. It was not very long ago I put two brown widow, not black widow, brown widow egg sacks into this sealed habitat and they've already hatched. And look how big these are. These are one or two days old, maybe a day and a half. I mean, I looked at them yesterday, didn't see anything in there. Bam, looked at it after work today. Wow, look at this. These are already bigger after the one, one and a half days. They are already bigger than the Black Widow spider babies, spider monsters, spiderlings, are after a week in the other habitat. These things are very creepy and very scary, and look how quickly they grow. Remember, our Brown Widow spider, it's a Brown Widow, it's not a false Black Widow, it's not a Black Widow, it's a real live Brown Widow spider, remember I didn't even know they existed, has laid so far, remember, nine or ten egg sacs, and it's only been a month and a half, maybe? Very, wow, just horrible. And the egg sacs seem to hatch very quickly. I don't know what the gestation period is for a, for a brown widow, but for a black widow, you got three to five weeks. These egg sacs, man, they cannot be more than a couple weeks old. And look how, wow. And look how many spider babies came out of these two egg sacs. Did they both hatch? Well, I don't know. For all we know, this is just one of the egg sacs and the other one's still gonna hatch. Wow, look at these things. Spiders are very prolific. Not only, like I said, did this spider have 10 egg sacs already with the egg sacs hatch very quickly. Now, in that other Lord of the Flies containment where we have a Black Widow egg sac and a Southern Black Widow and a False Widow and Brown Widow, ooh, scary things, and Brown Widow egg sacs and then the two praying mantis egg cases, so far in that it looks like only the Black Widow or Southern Black Widow or Western Black Widow egg sac is hatched. I don't know what's going on there, but man, look at these little things. I would like to put these under the microscope like I did a couple years ago with the Black Widow spider babies hatching, but I I can't open this up once this is sealed. Man, it is sealed. There's nothing you're going to do because these things are small. Well, I mean, they're big for being small, but just one gets out. You're toast. And as we've seen before, even just breathing out is enough for them to sling a little web and fly away, at least for the Black Widows. I don't know about Brown Widows. By looking at them, you, you clearly couldn't tell if these are black widows or brown widows. But what I do know is they hatched very quickly, and they are very large compared to what a black widow spiderling would be, you know, after this much time or this short a period of time. And they got all that web in there. Every bit of web you see here is from these spiderlings. This was completely web-free. And uh, just had, like I said, two egg sacs in it. I don't want to say it's hypnotic, but it's, uh, I mean, it's a thing of nightmares. It's very creepy. I can only zoom in so much before, it, you know, it tries to autofocus and get blurry. I tried it manual focus. I'm some problems with that, too. I try to zoom in too much, and it wants to look at the detail on the fake tree that these giant spider babies are hanging from. Now, I don't do that thing that Leo Kim does where he sticks... A little thing of water down on the bottom for the spiderlings to drink. Number one, I had no idea spiders drank water. I just thought they slurped the juices out of their prey. But, uh, yeah, so I don't do the water thing. I did it once before and a little... Eh, anyways, but I don't do the water thing in these sealed containers because you're not going to be able to replenish it because it's a sealed environment. It's really funny watching these spider babies. They're just hanging around. But when they move, they move in the exact same manner that the adults do. And something you can see on these brown widows is, see the legs, the stripes on the legs? Just like an adult brown widow. The body, you know, they just generic baby widow spider, spider babies, black widow, brown widow. They all look the same. But these legs are definitely, definitively, definitely, they are striped just like the adult brown widows. So I can imagine somebody's at home right now, has this on their screen, and they're thinking spiders are coming out of their screen. Let's let's just hope that's not the it's not the case. So we've had the first hatching, 
And, uh, well, it's going to be the only hatching if both egg sacs have hatched because there is no opening this thing. Now, we haven't decided what... Oh, I have... <laughs> and they're preening themselves and they're feeling out and reaching to the neighbor next to them to see who they're going to eat because that's all they can eat. It's, it, all they can eat is each other. I can't even talk now. These things are so creepy. So we haven't decided how we are going to do Protocol Zero. Usually it involves, you know, fire and flame. I'm thinking if I could melt wax and fill this entire container with wax encapsulating, encapsulating these spider monster spider babies in wax sealed forever. Kind of at a loss for words here. Yeah, I know me. I just go on and on, right? I'm never at a loss for words. These things are just super creepy, and you can see how many of these there are. There is just way too many to even be comfortable with. And I guess the the uh, creep factor is like about five times greater with these because they seem to be so much bigger after just a day or so, whereas the Black Widows, you know, the first week they're still going to look like this. Now, I don't know how that compares to the redback spider, the Australian redback, whether they're fast growers or not, but from watching Leo Kim's videos, man, I don't think they grow as fast as these things. So in theory, if you put brown widows and black widows in the same habitat like this, sealed environment, and they are both going to hatch about the same time, these brown widows are going to be bigger and they're going to ju definitely just dominate the Black Widow. Now remember, Brown Widows are not as venomous as a Black Widow spider. Brown Widow spiders are Brown Widows. They actually have a red hourglass on their abdomen, on their belly. Not on their back. They're not red back spiders. Not an hourglass on their stomach and then a little red dot on their butt like a Southern Black Widow. And, you know, not like a false widow, which is brown, doesn't have an hourglass, and then has some weird white markings sometimes on the back. These are their own spider. And they are a creepy spider. And the other thing that's really creepy about it, you know, not only are they brown, but they actually also have the red hourglass. And I've seen enough, you know, real black widows that, you know, I mean, they don't really creep me out anymore. These things, I mean, these spider monster babies, yeah, but just the brown widow, they seem to be so aggressive. They are way less venomous than a black widow. And remember the old thing, a black widow is seven times or ten times or whatever many times more deadly in their venom than a rattlesnake. Yeah, but they only give you a tiny bit of venom where a rattlesnake can kill you because it can give you a lot of venom because they're big. When I was in the Marine Corps, I actually caught a baby rattlesnake, carried it around for a while until I was instructed... Hey, watch out for that rattlesnake. Baby rattlesnakes will inject more venom into you than an adult one because they can't control it. Just bam. So I don't know if it's that way with spiders, but you just, you don't mess around with these things. Well, apparently I'm messing around with them. So yeah, but you should not mess around with these things. I shouldn't be messing around with these things. Very creepy. These are brown widow spiders. Brown little spiderlings, spider monsters, spider babies. Very creepy. Only a day and a half old. Oh, very aggressive. And uh, we'll keep tabs on them. So, hey, I will uh, see what I can do about making sure they don't escape. And uh, if you guys can leave your comments in the comment section, suggestions, thoughts, theories, or insults, leave in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Mr. 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube. <laughs>